I just came here to tell you that I'm stinky, I'm sticky, I'm sweating, and I haven't taken a shower in three days. <laughs> All right. It's been a while since the whole camera presence thing. Let's say I took a little sabbatical or whatever. I just wanted to mention that the whole shenanigans with Mr. Virus are still very much going on. But places have been open for a while now and people have been allowed to meet. This week, everything's gonna go into stage three, which whatever, I don't wanna get into that. What I do wanna get into is that I am going on a trip. And don't take me wrong, I take the situation very seriously, but I have been denying my family some quality time and begging them to please maintain their distance and to try to go out the least amount possible. And right now, I kind of just gave up. And I told them, yeah, sure, I'll come to the camping trip. Because there's something very serious about a Latin family and their way of guilt tripping you into things. Anyways, I'm gonna start this video by telling you that we started this trip by taking the essentials, of course. And that includes our mask, our sunscreen, hand sanitizer, and I don't know why I thought this would be funny, but sure, yeah, hand sanitizer and also mosquito repellent. This was supposed to be a one night only camping thing, but we ended up taking way more stuff than we possibly needed. So the trunk was pretty much full. We put the kayak on the ceiling. There were a lot of mosquitoes when we were doing that because we were a genius and decided to do it the night before going out, which you will think it's smart, but it's not smart to do it at 8.30 p.m. when there's a lot of mosquitoes outside. I don't know if you can see them here, but they were literally flying around us. They wanted to eat us alive. I'm from the South. I've seen mosquitoes. I've never seen mosquitoes like the ones in this town. It's, it's just, I, there's no words. But after doing all of this, we said goodbye to our little daughters, the sweet one and the rebellious one that pretty much said, Q, I don't care about you guys when we left through the door. Bye, Luna. And then we set up to what we thought it was gonna be, three hours and a half road trip. And this is the part where I would like to mention that I am a 22 year old woman that does not hold a full driver license. Now, before you criticize me, know that I was the youngest girl from three older brothers, so my dad decided to teach me how to drive when I was 17 instead of 14, like he did with all his macho meals. And after an accident because of my anxiety, he decided not to teach me again. I ended up going to a city where having a car is a waste of time and money because there's TTC to almost everywhere, which might not be reliable, but hey, at least it's better than Mrs. Agapo with transfer. And I had no one to really teach me how to drive because how can anyone learn how to drive in that city? It's like not knowing anything about Call of Duty and then just dropping you in the middle of the map and being like, there you go, see you later, hope you have some constructive learning today. Because I don't know what to drive, we decided that a four hour trip through almost the middle of nowhere with a big ass kayak on the roof of a 1998 Toyota 4Runner was the best place for me to learn how to drive. Well, hello, you guys. <laughs> so we are currently ready for a good old camping trip. And you can't see it right now because it's been sunny all of a sudden, but today was supposed to be a thunderstorm. So that means that we're gonna go all the way into this four hour road trip just so we can get wet in this camping site. But you know what? Who doesn't wanna get some rain on the camping site? I need to wash my tent anyways. So thank you weather, I really needed that. So we're stopping for a pit stop and we're getting ready for the great freaking camping trip. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's about to rain, like rain a lot, like a lot. And also just to update you a little bit on our amazing trip, we found out that there's no showers in the freaking camping area because of the current, you know, situation. But it's also 30 degrees outside and it's really humid and we're gonna be sweating a lot. I can feel it already. You know exactly what that means, right? That means that we're gonna be stinky and sweaty the whole freaking two days that we're gonna be camping. I mean, I was trying to find a pump for that, but I just, I, I couldn't find anything for it. So that's 
yeah that's all you get everyone's there already i believe and they say that it hasn't started raining yet but it's not looking pretty hopefully it's a nice drive and hopefully we get there before it rains because if it rains and we have to put our tent up i'm not sure how that's gonna work They say that morning comes for The best part was after five hours of drive, when we got there, it was really cloudy. And at least it wasn't rainy, but it was really cloudy and very windy. It was so windy that when we got to the beach, we just stayed there for like five minutes. And then we decided that we would just go. So we went to our campsite. <laughs> I forgot to record my family when they got very drunk and the night shenanigans of what we did but the runners came and told us to shut the fuck up because we were disturbing the public place and that's the moment where we put the fire out and we all went to our beds and what happened next? it rained all damn night we really thought that Sunday was gonna be the sunny day and I was gonna get some content and record what happened but in reality it was a bit cloudy by the time that we got to the beach and after a lot of wind once again, we decided that it was time to just leave. <laughs> I always find that the worst part about camping is when you have to leave and everything is like dirty and sandy and sticky. And then you just kind of sit there hoping that everything will pack itself out so you don't have to. But then you come to the realization that you have to do it yourself. So you start to pack everything. And for some reason, there seems to be more stuff than what you had. And you try to make it all fill in the truck. But then there's a plot twist. We were trying to take the tent out and it turns out that it's kind of raining a lot. So I got into the car once again, decided that I was going to drive all the way back. And we decided that this time we will take the scenic route because we didn't do anything in the camping site. We literally just went there, slept the night and came back next day without doing any kind of activities whatsoever. And we took all the kayak there for nothing. So yeah, fun times with the family. But to be fair, the drive back was pretty kawaii. 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 It was really cute. <laughs> we stopped at some lakes, we saw some pretty scenery. I had traveled the way back without complaining too much. Well, I'm I am so freaking tired because I remember saying that driving long distances can be that bad and stopping was a big mistake. It actually is really tiring. And then after freaking seven hours of traveling, we finally made it back. And now it's just time to unpack and relax. Just kidding. We don't unpack the same day that you come back from a seven hour trip. It was like 9.30 PM when we got back home. It was nighttime and I was freaking tired and hungry. I'm not freaking unpacking that night. We just left everything there and it's actually still there two days later, so yeah <laughs> also i would like to add that during the whole trip we were keeping a distance with other people and we were masked every time that we were in places inside just like the grocery store or the convenience store and i hope that you're wearing your damn mask right now anyways after two days we did laundry and we took half of the truck down and now we're just waiting 14 days and hoping that our noses don't get sniffy <laughs> <laughs> 